Hello and welcome to my channel where I talk about photography and photography gears. Today I'll be taking a look at the Nikon 18 to 140mm f.3 lens. But before we get into it, if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe if you want to hear more of this type of content. The Nikon 18 to 140mm lens has a maximum aperture range of f3.5 to f5.6. It's a wide angle mid telephoto zoom lens that is made for Nikon scrap sensor cameras. This is not a new lens, it's been around for a few years now. It was actually launched in 2013. I got my lens when I bought my Nikon D7200. This has been one of my favorite walk around lens. It stays on my camera like 90% of the time. It's well built, focused smoothly, and the picture quality is sharp. And it has an excellent zoom range. It has an equivalent focal length of 27 to 210 mm on a full frame camera. This is a general purpose lens that is good for landscape, portrait and travel photography. The autofocus is fast and the manual focus is easy to use. Just turn the focus ring with your fingers. This is a very versatile lens that covers focal length between 18 to 140mm. 18mm wide angle view that's great for group shots, landscape or any time you just need to fit more in your frame. Zoom into 140mm and you can capture close up shots. In between you have a standard view similar to what you see with your eyes and a medium telephoto view ideal for portraits. Whatever shot comes your way, you'll be ready to catch it. Compact and lightweight, built with weather seal mount. Comes with four stops of vibration reduction to minimize camera shake. This helps when you are shooting unheld at a much slower shutter speed. This is a variable aperture lens. That means your aperture will change as you zoom. At 18mm you are at the widest aperture of f3.5. At 140mm your aperture changed to f5.6. The zoom action of the lens is not internal so your lens will extend as you zoom to 140mm. The 18 to 140mm lens is not a good option for low light photography. You'll need a wide aperture of at least f2.8. The wider your aperture is, the more light enters your camera. An aperture of f2.8 lets more light enter the camera than an aperture of f3.5. And as you zoom, the aperture gets smaller, so less light enters your camera. And with an aperture of 3.5, you won't get that nice creamy background blur in your photos. If you want photos with more blurred out background, then you'll need to use a lens which offers a lower f-stop number, such as f1.8. If you are looking for an all-purpose lens that is good for almost every situation, that shoots from wide angle to telephoto, the Nikon 18 to 140mm lens is a good choice. It's a fantastic lens and it's well worth the price.